Welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And this is the little commercial empire that I've been building up. In the last part, we worked on education. You can see the education is still working along quite well. We're a bit short of professors, but I'm not too worried about that because as long as education is trundling on forward, I'm, I've got no problems with that. My main concern is the numbers of uneducated workforce in here. So we're going to have a change in policy from now on with respect to buildings. And if I just do it straight away while I'm thinking about it, I'm coming to flats here, I'm just going to turn that off. So from now on, we're going to choose the people who are going to live in our properties. Now in this part, what I want to do is work towards manufacturing my own food and getting a farm up and running. And that is simply to reduce the overall costs to my economy. And probably the best way to explain it is if I come in here and this, what we've got on this tab is imports. Now this tab looks a little bit misleading because you look at it, and you think, well, what does all this mean? But if I go back, click on last month, and if you click on this, you actually get a detailed breakdown. So you can see here that in the last month, I exported 33.6 tons of clothes and we made 46,000 rubles in income. Now be aware that is not profit because if I come down here, you will see this is what I paid to import and this is and you can see the power is not a great issue because I'm mean, only paid 1.5 thousand rubles for power for some reason I paid over a thousand for clothes I'm not sure what happened there but maybe I need to check my uh, shop to make sure it's not auto importing but more importantly you can see here I paid 28,824 rubles for fabric so the profit that came from here the 46,000 is not a total profit because I've got the costs of the imports here be just deducted from that. Now the next price down is we got, we paid 1800 for food. We got meat and alcohol. There's not a lot of costs there, but I still want to get independent with this because one thing I can do is export alcohol. If I show you here, alcohol can be, a reasonable earner if you do it because we get would get 257.75 at the same time we're going to have to import crops to get our, the whole economy up and running you can see also see down here meat is 273.97 to buy but we can also sell it for 247.87 rubles quite interestingly meat is worth a lot more on the dollar market so that's what I want to do in this part. And oh, the other thing I wanted to show you is if you look at last month and these costs down here, you'll see these extra costs beyond fuel, gravel, concrete, asphalt, prefab panels and steels. That covers the construction that I did in that month. So, so there is that kind of cost there. Now, what I want to do is lay out an area up here, but before we get too far into that area, I want to do this. Bring the road off about here. I'm just going to build that road there. Because what I want to do is build a food production area here. And we're going to start with something I definitely do need, and that is a grocery store. And what we're going to do is, if, actually, what I will do is flats. We fab flats. What I would like to do is have a yeah, prefab flat in about there, and maybe another one about there. Oops, oops, don't do that again. And then, what I'd like to do is we'll build the roads. We've got some dollars, so we'll build the roads in dollars. What I want to do is just bring that there, like that. Just that and dollars as well. Now I don't want to build these flats just yet because what I want to do next is start to lay out my food production area. And what I want is that. Ah, great. So we're going to have to come out, bring that road out a little bit further.
may have to trim it back a little bit afterwards. And enter. I'm still on a bus platform, I want a grocery store. And what I'm looking to do is connect the grocery store with a slight angle that way. Because what I want to do is get my food factory, a distillery, a warehouse, and then some meat production in. So the next thing we're going to go for is a food factory, but this time we're going to, we need to plan this quite carefully. What I'm inclined to do is do something like that. So that would connect up to there. Just going to try bring this out a little bit. Maybe. The key problem is connecting up these. I haven't yet been able to judge the distance needed for these. We've now got that here. And the next thing I want is the warehouse. Now I want the road for the warehouse to be coming out like this. Now the problem I got is I want the distillery here. I want to be able to connect that distillery up. So if I can at the same time I want that road connection and of course the rail connection as well. If I can get that there. Maybe just out a little bit. Maybe a bit more, maybe a smidge more of an angle. So I'm fussing a bit guys here. And more importantly, we want to connect up. Yes, yeah, so if this doesn't connect. Oh, it's connected. That's good. So the idea is this warehouse will take the food and then supply it to the various uh, buildings around here. Need to do food here. Now what want now is the distillery in here. And you can see how close that road there is to the distillery. What I want is for this distillery to maybe if I can pull it a little, see if we can push our luck a little bit here. I'm just gonna. This is where it tells me this is. Oh no, nope, we managed to get a distance in there. And what I want to do next before I do anything or start railways or roads. Okay, that up to there. And that road out like that. And that road to come there. We've now got the food factory, the distillery, the warehouse. And what we can do now is move on to the livestock farm. Wow, that's big. I mean, I could come that way, but I build the livestock farm there. It means it's get the roads. Where's the road going to go? I mean, I could build the road there. I mean, the roads in a little bit of an awkward place here. I mean, I could put the road. Um, maybe if I cut off this out like this far trouble is that if I do that I only have a road entrance no footpath entrances okay we're just going to give that a go guys um, yeah, and that's connected up to that so that's the that's the livestock farm then what we're going to have is the so we need the slaughterhouse. And what I'm thinking about is curving. The trouble is, see what I need to do is put this meat storage in. The meat storage road is like that, so I need that road there. The trouble is, I wish they had another entrance on the left-hand side there. I mean, I could come that way. 
I curve that around like maybe if I move that far away, far enough away, and hopefully that will that will connect up. Nope. Ah, not gonna let me. Oh, it says it's connected up. Roads. Mm -hmm. Right, that road's come out like that. The well, now is will the meat packing plant get in there? Can't build food infrastructure. Okay. What we're gonna to have to do is knock that down, and we got this road out like that. Uh, slaughterhouse. Let's just push this slaughterhouse out a bit more that way. Maybe because I can't see with that icon in the way. Go away. Maybe if I. I can push this out like that. And then we'll connect up this here. Right, that will connect that way. Good. And then we'll A little bit more, please. And that give me the meat storage. Hopefully, that will connect up as well. We've now got this road here. Demolish the building. I can build this like that. Hopefully, I can get you in there and you can come in like that. And it means we can then build this road around here. That road can go into there. So it looks a little bit elaborate, guys, but it will work. The real problem we're going to get is getting workers out to the livestock farm, but I'm not too worried about the livestock farm just at the moment. So what we're going to do is fund this and this, and of course, this. And what we're going to have to do is, oops. Let's see how much we can fund with fund them in with the air and then put this back to rubles and oh, come on one game well it looks like it's going to build all the roads in for me whether i like it or not never mind it's not a problem and you can see now what we've got is this food store here working this area here and what we're going to do is put an auto purchase for some we'll start with 40 tons of food there and I, you don't need this road now oops no i'll probably build here i'll build some flats didn't i <laughs> okay my 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 bad there guys okay. come into there yes we could get some more flats in there but we get to see here oh, it's kindergarten always keep clicking on the, the kindergarten will that fit in there that's just slightly smidge too big oh this is actually we've got the wrong one so what we're gonna do is just is Build that one. 
you can see there's no going to be no residents in there at all that's not going to be a problem I mean the money's dropping down a little bit right guys the flat's been built up and there's a few people now starting to work here but we're going to need to get some power in before I get these flats built up so I'm just going to put some power supply in now and we're going to do this in reverse order at the moment what I want is power supply up around here Okay, of that. I want the power of the bus station because I didn't realize that the bus station no, I want the make sure we got brewery I'm pretty sure just cancel that you've got power soon we don't need to worry about you I want the brewery powered from here so why is that suddenly not Zoom in a bit. Make sure that's the right way around. Let's get that the right way around. And then just zoom out again. Now I want to power all these buildings from this area here, but I want to know there's power at the bus station. And it looks like to pack in order to be able to power these flats in the bus station. I think maybe if I come in a bit like that. The wrong way around. What a pain. Yeah, that down. At least we got know where we want to build it. So we'll build it about there. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to run. I built this up here. Mm -hmm. I want to do is build this up out there now the reason I'm coming out so far is eventually we're gonna have a, a power station up here I want to bring oops, no, maybe a bit too far I just want that there and then what we're gonna do is up here I think it's a power is it a power transformer we need yep it's got the big ship on so I'm just gonna and it is just power this actually what I do need is a uh, one of these first that's the right one yep I'm just going to the reason I'm putting the switch in is that I know that I'm going to need a power distribution Oops, that in there and then need a a power distribution transformer there. Oops, no. These guys into it there. And then hook you into there. And then go back. And I need to use the, the full sized. And what we're going to do is just bring that down into there like that. What we're going to do is just use a little gravel road to connect that up. So we've now got power to this area here. And what I need to do now is get some workers in. Now, if I built this flat with the, I can't remember what the option is now. There's an option that come in here. When you build it, it says assign workers. I think you've got to actually come in here. You'll see it says get citizens. If you get that, you get uneducated citizens. If you if you don't put any citizens in, what you can, if you bring in immigrants from the third world, I think there's a bit of a bias here, but if you bring these in, I'll, I'll buy 10 just to show you guys. You get 10 uneducated workforce. If you get, I mean, get them from the Soviet bloc, you get educated workers. And what I want to do is pump in. Why, am I, why is that not Oh, here we go. What's broken? Oh, no power supply. Sometimes it just doesn't connect. What you've actually got to do is disconnect that. What's happened is that this is. I 
thinking, what, what's up with this thing? Did I build the right one here? Just demolish that then. High voltage switch. Maybe I built the wrong switch here. I'm just going to spin that round. Just connect that up. Connect that up. That should give me power. Yeah, we've now got power down to here. And, and as I was explaining, guys, so we I've put a couple of professors in, and I've got a bit more workforce. So we're going to invite some more workforce into here. And what we're going to do is tell these people to work. Oh, we can't work to there just yet. We need to get some footpaths in. Get this all connected up. We need a connection across there. Of course, we can't put a connection across there. We have to squeeze a little connection through there. Of course, we can connect that up there. Not sure why that's not connected. And we can connect through to there. If I come back to here, we can now add the brewery to my empire. Oh, good. What has the Just put that path in now. Well, we got some sport here. And what we should do now is start to get some people into here. Yeah, we've got 23 working in here. Maybe I need to split that and put uh, a few more working in the distillery. And I could put another block in here. Actually, I will. We're going to construct that from rubles. And the next thing, I'll, and what we got here is the, this food farm here so what we're going to do is cancel that because i want this to be supplied exclusively of food from this area here we've got the food supply up and what we're going to do is invite a whole load of we're getting some university educated just by inviting them from the maybe a block oh that's great i didn't actually need to specifically invite people you can come up there. And you can come through there. Just drop through there. Again, we're just going to do a 50 50 split with those at the moment. I'm not going to bring this meat production in just yet. I'm going to phase that in once I've got this up because I've got to work on a farm down here. There's one other thing I want to do just before we get going. So we're now producing food. We're now storing it in the warehouse. Yep. We've got 1.7 tons. So what I want now is a truck from here. A nice little covered truck. One that won't, doesn't don't want to carry too much food. Three, actually, what's the storage capacity on... You can store 7.5 tons of food. So if I come in here and we get a covered truck, and what we want, that's six tons of food. That's half a ton of food. That's 2.3 tons of food. Yeah, but we're gonna buy, we'll click on him, whoops. And what I want him is to pick up from the food factory, come down to here. And what I want you to do is just pick up food. And I want you to wait until you unload food. So I'm just going to go there. So what I want is this lorry. So go up here. They will go to the. It will go to the food factory. It will pick food up. It will then bring the food down to here, and fill this up over time. But once it gets completely, this gets completely full. What will happen is the lorry will sit here. Just to show you, if I hook him, you'll see that because I've said wait until unloaded. What will happen is so rather than sitting up here and blocking this up, he will sit here and just keep this area full up. And now also what I want to do is we're now producing some alcohol and I want to do exactly the same with 
the the brewery. So we're gonna get another little covered truck. 2.3 tons, five half tons, six tons of alcohol. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll get 3.5 tons of alcohol. Um, again, we're just going to pick up from the distillery to here. Um, all you're going to do is pick up alcohol. And you can wait until loaded. And then you're going to deliver the alcohol to the pub. And you're going to wait until unloaded. By doing this, it means we'll, I won't have trucks wandering around consuming fuel. There, they go here. Yeah. So we've already got 2.2 .2 tons of alcohol. And we've got quite a lot in here. And I think what I'm going to do is take off the auto purchase here. I mean, at the end of the day, if the pub runs out of alcohol, it's not a big problem. So that is the first step of what I want to do. Now I've got a, a petrol station here. So what I'm going to do is come in here and we're going to extend this road out this way. Oh, that's a gravel track. Because what I want to do is get the farm out up and running here. And what I want is the farm something about like there just turn off the rubles for the moment so I can level it I'm just going to put there put the how much is this going to cost in rubles doesn't tell me okay this is flat this territory off how much is this because Sixty-six thousand in dollars. Okay. This is going to hurt, but it's going to reap benefits in the future. And then off to this side, what I want to do is build a grain silo. And then we're just going to hook that up with like that. And then what I'm going to do is. This uh, almost direct actually we can come that way. Well, great. Why won't that? This, this game can be very frustrating sometimes. So we've now got our farm here, but it won't be powered. Not powered, so we're going to have to put power supply over here. Which is going to be a little bit of a pain, but I, I don't want it, didn't want it squashing this area here because I may want to expand out this way. First thing I want to do is lay out. We're going to come this way a bit. And we're going to lay in some fields. Now, farming is interesting because the game has a year, but the farms don't follow the what you'd call a normal agricultural yearly cycle. They, they seem to work on their, at their own pace. And one thing I've noticed with a little bit of experimenting with farms is what you want to do is put in, I want to leave a gap there just in case I want to put a railway in. And what I'm going to do is start with three farms. Fields, not farms, what I'm about. Uh, on that the center there. I'm just going to use gravel up here. And the reason I put the farm here is it's close to the petrol station. Because what we've got to do now is come in here and we need three combine harvesters, three of these. And we're going to need three trucks to carry the goods. And what you want is the one with the biggest possible carry capacity. It's 3.6, you're 10 tons, so you want three trucks like that. And these will be attached to the farm. And what we need to do now is just hook up some power supply here. This, this isn't going to be... Yep. And I'm just going to... Ah, I suppose I don't really have to pause the game, but we're just going to pick this out. And I'm going to put a... No, I think I want to 
medium voltage switch here. It's really annoying that that's that way. I mean, I could. But no, I think we'll take a chance with the switch. I can always bring a road round the back there. I'm just going to put a switch there. I'm just going to add to there, add to there. And then what we're going to do is put a I mean we've got coverage down to about there so if I actually if I put the switch in about here oops. So we put the switch in like that it's this side south of the road means if I put anything in there it will be powered automatically I'm just gonna put that into there like that. That's all that. Oops, that was fine. Ah. About that, guys. I forgot the game was paused. And this is now powered. And what will happen is farm takes a little while to adopt the fields so we've now got our beginnings of our food production up and running we've got a silo here with 800 stun storing and what I will probably do is use a truck to deliver from here to here so at the moment we've got some alcohol from rolling in some food rolling in quite nicely what's the food situation down here this is going quite well so what we're going to do is just actually let's just turn that off for a little while because I'm, I'm not going to start too much with food exports to begin with what we will do is get some alcohol exports going how's the pub yeah the pub's full up and the truck's there delivering which is exactly what I wanted so the next thing we're going to have is we're going to get another covered truck here and what can you carry 6.5 alcohol 3.5 6 6.5 alcohol 6 2.3 I think we'll just pick up one of these now your job is going to be to pick up in the brewery or oh, people in a brewery it's actually a distillery and your job is going to be to pick up alcohol only I'm just going to fire it off and you're going to wait until fully loaded and then just take it to the customs house now there's two slots here so I think there's two slots here yeah there's two slots here for the trucks so what can happen is this truck will keep the brewery full up and that there's a lot of alcohol for the consumption in the city and then this truck will actually start to make a profit for us by standing there and eventually if we can get the workforce in here and doing something we can get things operating Now the nice thing about farms is that they don't actually need workers let me see here and what happens is you get a sewing then growing then harvesting and what happens is the trucks bring the stuff and stick it into there mm, I could set this up immediately but I'm gonna leave that and just let it run guys mm, now I've got one more thing to do I'm aware of the time and we've got this is now running quite quickly there we will bring the meat supply in over time because we're going to need to get some work is in here but the trouble with these things is you can't cover so we're gonna to have to put some factories or storage up here what I would like to do now is just get a small store in I've just got it in there but okay we'll just have to we're just gonna get yeah that's a good enough power supply we're gonna drop a small store in here oops not 
the store here. I'm just going to connect that up as well. And this is going to be close. And what I want to do again, same trick as I've been doing, is that we're going to feed off maybe this factory. What I want is a another covered truck. I don't want 6.5 tons, I want 2.5, 6 tons, no, 0.5, I think we'll go with this one. And what you're going to do is pick up from this factory, deliver to that factory, and you're going to do exactly the same as before. You're going to deliver close to here. And you're going to wait until done. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick up clothes here and you're going to wait for that to be full and you better press the start button. Now this will cause a little bit of disruption to my export drive because the this truck will come out here, park here, until it gets picks up all the necessary clothes from this factory so the entire output of this factory will be stolen by this truck but what will happen is it will come up here and eventually after two trips this will become full and therefore and the, it will be exactly the same as the food crop down here wow we're getting lots and lots of food coming in quite nicely actually so this is running really well I mean, I, I'm not too worried about mid-maxing this out, as long as I've got the supplies running. And just to show you guys, the farms are coming along quite nicely. And I think just to finish this off, you can see now, we've actually got some egg alcohol exports already, which is adding this month. And last month, we obviously, we didn't, so this is our new month. But our, obviously, our costs are running high. But what will happen is now as you can see now i'm not i'm no longer in buying in food or alcohol and the power is there so we go to the last month uh, we're still importing some alcohol and food there but you can see with this monthly cycle now so we're now just bringing in still importing some clothes i'm still not sure why oh, i don't know why this one okay let's just cancel that i don't know why I think that was a fail on my part, guys. We're just going to a stop to that. I think the problem is that when this the, the closed truck is is taking stuff out of here, I think what happens is that this truck filling up empties the warehouse and this factory from all the clothes. So therefore, this shop run temporarily runs out and therefore it buys some stuff I've lost a truck there he is but this truck is still slowly loading up with material it's good so it's going to take a little while for everything to get a bit stabilized we'll probably try and send a few more people here let's just send these people too I mean that might cause a bit of disruption push that up to 50 percent i should get more workers into these two factories which should drive things a little bit faster i, mean, I don't think these jobs are... yeah right i think this is where i'm gonna leave it now guys so the farm's up and running we've got our warehouse getting a nice supply of food in which is going to be useful for when we move this way to get the power supply sorted out we've got a closed shop here Has this truck actually managed to fill up yet actually this just let's take off that requirement for the moment and just let him free base this 
I've got a feeling it's this truck that's stealing all the resources. Yeah. Obviously this truck doesn't want to move. Well, he's building up slowly. Oh, maybe I'll just put that back on again. Then to wait until loaded. And then wait until unloaded. It get there. I mean, this, this shop's on auto supply. Right, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. It's just a quick run through on the economic side now. And you can see this month, we're now driving up uh, our fabric costs, electronics, clothes. For some, we're still paying for clothes. Uh, obviously, we're going to be paying for crops. But you can see now we're not and we're no longer paying to importing either food or alcohol. And hopefully we should be starting to make uh, a little less import resources, export resources. At the moment where we've dipped down with clothes because I've, I did that tinkering to get the farm working, but we're now making some cash from alcohol, which should keep things going along quite nicely in the over the long term. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.